All right, welcome guys. Today's video, we are over here in Ayutthaya. We're at the Temple of the Great Elephant, or Wat Chang Yai. It's an early Ayutthaya style temple, and it's uh, pretty cool. It's, we're gonna see some murals in the old ordination hall, and we'll take a look over here and see what everything looks like. Now, it's uh, just north of the island of Ayutthaya, and all this stuff uh, is all flooded. As you can see behind me, there's quite a bit of water. So part of the temple grounds I can't get to just because it's, uh, it's underwater. But we'll take a look at the old hall and see what it looks like. Here they have the statue to the war elephants. Now this temple, it's got a lot of history. It goes back to um, the early Ayotea style days, so like 1350s. And it has a lot of significance with Saman and King Narasawan and a couple of the other Thai kings. They used to do some uh, like wood cutting ceremony here, which they would go and they would cut down a piece of wood, like a tree or something like that. That was, that was named after uh, like the enemy. They also did like the anointing head where they would uh, put like some water and stuff like that on the king's head. This temple was badly damaged during the, uh, the last round of fighting with the Burmese. It was also involved in the first fighting of the, the White Elephant War. So uh, it has quite a bit of history. You can see it has the elevated porch here in the front. And then it's shaped like a boat. You see it's kind of bowed a little bit. And then you see the old ordination stones. And then over here is a 12-sided chetty. The base is uh, got the indented corners. That's fantastic. So this chetty here, you can still see a little bit of the detail work. Right there is like the lotus flowers. And then it had a Khmer prong at the top. And it's about 450 to 500 years old. It's kind of weathering, it's cracking and stuff like that, but it's really, really old. And then here's part of this ordination stone that's kind of broken that was right over here. Now under the little porch, you can see what's remaining of a mural. There's not a whole lot of it left. I'm sure it's been flooded a time or two. Now I believe this mural here is Bangkok era, like Rama I. Here's the ordination stone, and then they have the little Buddhas. Now we asked the monk if we could get in and he said we could, so. And then here's just a little bit left of this mural also. Oh, it's a shame. You see the, bow, the walls bowed out and kind of cracking. And the same here, this pillar is in bad shape. Now this temple here is just kind of off the beaten path. There's not a whole lot here to it. There's two monks that I see and there's not anybody here coming to, you know, make merit or anything like that. It's just kind of a forgotten temple, but check this out. This is really nice. Here's the principal Buddha. And then you see they got the Emerald Buddha and the little throne. And they have a couple of the, the monk figures back there. Uh, and they got the war elephants and all the murals of the scenes of the Buddha up above and then some of these uh, late Ayutthaya style murals. Oh, this is fantastic. You can see they're kind of fading, but I mean, again, this is hundreds of years old. And the elements here, I mean, the whole temple grounds all around this, uh, this little boat is flooded. So it doesn't take much more water and it just floods in here. And I'm sure that's what's happened to the bottom of these murals is it's been underwater. But it's one of those that how do you keep this intact? I mean, you can see how the walls bowed here also. So, I mean, this is a historic temple and how do you keep it preserved? I mean, it's still in use and Ayutthaya still floods and everything in this area kind of gets underwater. You can see the columns. Now the columns are uh, octagonal shape, which is Ayotia style. And then you see the top where it goes up to the roof. Now they did a blue roof here instead of the, like the traditional red. 
Uh, and you can see oh, there's some murals and stuff like fish. Oh, that's cool. Is it fish or is it kind of the mythical bird? That looks like a mythical bird over there all across the top. So you can see uh, the mural here. So these are the scenes of the Buddha. This is the famous part of the mural right here. You see it has the columns and it has the, the Buddhas and stuff up top. And then the jagged, the jagged line that separates the scenes. Yeah, this is great. Now this temple is about 15 minutes or so, kind of northwest of Ayutthaya. It's just off the main road. You gotta go down kind of like a little soy, a little street to get down here. And there's a school nearby and the school is completely flooded. The playground has probably five feet of water on it. The basketball hoop is the only thing and a little bit of the playground equipment sticking up out of the water. So here's behind the main Buddha. You can see the war elephants. Yeah, this is great. And then the Buddha there. And the goddess of the earth, wringing her hair. Yeah, the murals behind here are in the best shape. Yeah, this is nice. Here's a nice look at it from the outside. You can see how it's bowed. And then they have all the chetties and stuff around here. And then there's like an old, old chetty that's kind of collapsed down. It just has part of the, the spire that's over there. And it looks like this tree has overtaken a chetty. You can see some of the bricks and stuff that are there. And then there was some more back in yeah, there. I'm not sure what this was, if it was the old bell tower or if it was a spirit house or what. You can see out over there is some of the flood water. Yeah, this is uh, right here on the temple grounds. You can see the Buddha statue out over there and it's all flooded out. So if you want to live next to a river in Ayutthaya, this is what you get. Okay, so this over here is the new ordination hall. You can see it's built in the Bangkok styling. And it's also shaped like a boat and it's locked up, so we won't be able to get inside of this one. Let's see up here by the door though. Yeah, this is the front entrance. So I came up here and all the pigeons went flying off as the standing Buddha. And then back over there, you can see some more of the flood waters and stuff. All right, here's about the best look we can have at it. And some people are riding by here on their bikes through the flood water. All right, so Let's go back over to the other part. Yeah, and here's the rest of the temple grounds. You can see over there is like the little dock to a canal. And that canal goes over towards the Labri River. And then here is the rest of the temple grounds. This is the monk quarters and the crematorium, everything is right here. So you have a statue of King Narasawan in front of the, the Buddha and a couple of little chetties. All right, guys, so that finishes up our little walk around here, this old early Ayutthaya style temple. It's really nice. It's a shame that it's uh, kind of flooded out right now, but we got to see the main thing that I wanted to come over here and see, which was that old, old ordination hall. The new ordination hall is locked up and we can only just see it on the outside. And then there's not a whole lot more to see because of just everything is underwater. But uh, the murals and the old Buddha and everything in there was definitely worth uh, taking a look at. It was really fun. So anyway, guys, uh, this is Wat Cheng Yai, or the Temple of the Great Elephant. And it's just off the main island of Ayutthaya, kind of the northwest. You can get over here, it's about 15, 20 minutes or so away. And you can probably hire a tuk-tuk if you wanted to come over here and see those murals. I would recommend it if you like stuff like that. You know, it was fun for me. But uh, anyway, you got to see it on the camera. So uh, if, you, uh, if you like this, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, this is what I do. I go and I show you things that I see, things that I do, and I tell you a little bit about what I know. And if you like that, leave me a comment, hit like, subscribe, stick around, and you'll be notified when I post a new video. So from over here at Wat Chang Yai, remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.